morning again. Hello. Hello, hello. Ew. All right. So I'm going to get started on this one. Yesterday or last night, we did the stem stitch for all of the stems. Surprise, stem stitch for stems. And, um, yeah, we use three strands and this lovely green color. And then today we're going to use the detached chain stitch. Oh, shut up. Detached chain stitch, sorry, to add all of these little leaves. So it's these little kind of loopy, loopy leaves like this. And like these and these. Let me just push skip so we get some... actual music and then I'm going to zoom in and get started so I'm you yesterday or last night I used um three strands for these yeah so I'm going to use three strands for these little these little guys as well and that way they won't be too overpowering oh I've already put a knot in okay perfect where's the first one we'll start here okay so these are detached chain stitches so later we'll do um, a chain stitch that's all attached together meaning that they form a chain like a straight line um, or a curvy line but they're all kind of connected and this is the same kind of concept but you're going to use um, the detached chain, which means that each one of these is like one little piece by itself. And then you can put the little pieces together in a certain you know, formation to make leaves, you can make um, petals. They're really good for like lavender stalks. I've used those before. So yeah, let's just get started. So what you're gonna do is come up at the bottom of where you want your kind of leaf to, to start. And you're gonna leave a loop and go down. I don't like going through the same hole, but you can, you can if you want to. Um, I like to do just like one or two little uh, pieces of fiber away. Yeah, so you're gonna leave that loop and then come up at the very tip of where you want your leaf to end. So here's the, the bottom of the leaf and then here's the very tip. And you're gonna pull that through. I chose a really long piece of thread. Yeah? So you don't wanna pull it too tight or you're gonna get a straight up and down, like boom, boom. So you just wanna kind of like leave it uh, loopy or a little bit loose. And then you're going to just put another stitch on the other side of this piece of thread, just on the other side of that loop to kind of tack it down. So you don't want it to be really long. You don't want the stitch to be like up here because then that would be a really long stitch. You just want a short little stitch on the other side. Not the same hole that you came up obviously or it will undo. You just want to tack it down like that. And that's it. Easy peasy. So that's a detached chain stitch. So I'm just going to jump around and do all of the other detached chain stitches as the leaves. And of course you can add more leaves if you want to. Um, Some of them are kind of like hidden behind other things. So you can just make the full leaf and then later uh, we can kind of hide them or put the stitching behind. 
let me zoom out a little bit and you can see all of them because I am like literally jumping like all around so really the only thing to remember is not to pull it too too tight because if you pull it too tight then you're just going to get a straight up and down loop and you want it to be you know this is what happens when you just pull a piece of thread out and it's too long. Yeah, you can see how these would make good petals, yeah, because they're so like nice and loopy. And like sometimes um, for the stitch alongs, we will repeat different stitches because you can use them for different things. So like some of them are um, like satin stitch, but with one strand or two strands instead of six strands. And that's because you get a totally different look when you use the different strands or if you use the different stitches for different things. So you can use this for, like I said, the leaves or you can use it for petals. You can use that as like a detail inside of a flower. If you wanted to add um, some like, if you wanted to add like a detached chain stitch in the middle of that, in each of these, it would give it a little something else. Jazz it up. Oh. Looks like I've added another one up here. Where to next? And when you're adding the leaves, um, you notice that I'm like tucking them into the stem stitch. So instead of starting kind of out here, sorry, instead of starting out here, that would make it like look separate. You're gonna really like tuck it in to these threads, almost on the same line as the stem stitch. Really tuck it in. And then it will look like it's coming out from that stem instead of kind of like separate from it. Okay, I think just two more and then I'm done. Easy peasy today, detached chain stitch. There's also a giveaway on the grid at the moment on the Instagram, on like my actual Instagram grid page. And you can tag a friend, one friend per comment, um, to win a pattern from me of your choice. So I think there's over 30 patterns in the shop at the moment. Um, yeah, so you and a friend, you can pick two different ones or the same one, work on the same thing at the same time, have a stitch friend. And I've already taken note of all the people who've tagged uh, throughout the week so you're already entered there so go and tag a friend and then you can um stitch together so yeah i hope you have a lovely lovely monday and i hope you win the giveaway <laughs>
and I'll talk with you tomorrow. All right. Bye.